basically anybody else other than Michael Campbell, a guy who is on the Mount Rushmore when it comes to Hey, Face Off Fanatics, uh, I'm here, I'm Michael Campbell, I'm here to play Sean, which is, you know, not good for anyone, there's a reason a lot of people have dropped out, it's because this dude is scary as hell. You guys said earlier when we were off air, Kevin Smith even said this guy is absolutely it deserves. He just he's just so hard to get a grasp on. You don't know what he knows, you don't know what he doesn't know. Uh, the only reason I agreed was just because I sort of had to. It was my last chance to uh, get into this tournament. A guy who was team partners with Paul Oyama took out almost everybody, including me and John South. As if I could play any, literally anyone else, I would, but uh, I can't. So uh, it sucks that I have to play. Or it doesn't suck because I always enjoy to play here. I mean, for Christ's sake, how are you going to ever dispute how great this is? So. I cannot wait to get this started. It sucks that one of us has to lose, but uh, it's an honor to go up against Sean. We've gone up against each other once before, and it was a pretty great match, so hopefully we can recreate that today. Uh, yeah, this dude is a great guy, and if I lose to him, I could think of a better guy to lose to. This guy's an absolute gem, and yeah, let's see if I can do this. What's up, movie trivia face off fanatics? It's me, DVD Spaniard, back for this week. I was out, you know, I watched a horror movie and didn't want to do my job because I was too scared last week. But I am back with DJ Snacks next to me for another movie trivia face off match. And this is a very important one. This one is going to fill the last spot for our championship tournament, Snacks. Oh man, 16. Number 16 already. This is going to be a good match. These guys know each other from the other leagues. I think they're ready for some, some knockdown drag out trivia. And yep, this will fill our last spot in the tournament. Yep. It's gonna be good. So today we have Son Sandberg, the Sicario. I love saying that word because it's a word in Spanish and it's a really powerful one. And the Golden God, Michael Campbell. That's a pretty impressive nickname. Just the nickname, if he doesn't, let's say, if he doesn't do well, it's going to be a little disappointing with that nickname. So instead of being the Golden God, he would end up being the Golden Dud. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. I mean, it, it's best off of his location on the Gold Coast of Australia. So, I mean, it, it, it's understandable why he has that name. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Okay, so if you're ready, let's start, let's just stop, I know, bittering, and let's get down to it. <laughs> Introducing first, if you haven't girl, representing the Great White North, from up top to Canada, he is Sean Sicario Senberg. What's up, Sean? What's up? What did you say? I mute your Discord first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> and his opponent from down under the Gold Coast of Australia. He is known as Michael, the Golden God, Campbell. What's going on? It's, it's, it's gone. Wow. Let's, okay. let's get this underway. All right. So, Michael, you ready? Sure. Let's go. Son, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so snacks, do the thing so I can't read the rules. Alrighty, well, let's get ready to face off. Alright, gentlemen, in round number one, 10 quest 
I'm sorry, we are not in Ictacular. Eight questions are going to be asked to the field and each competitor is going to have 15 seconds to write down their best attempt of an answer in their whiteboards or whatever writing device they have with them. Each correct answer will correspond to one point if they are correct when we ask them to verbalize and show their answer. Each competitor is going to have three JTE rules or repeats to use all throughout the match and also one challenge. Do you guys understand the rules? Yeah. Sure. All right, so snacks, start over. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Your first question comes from the category of rom-coms, romantic comedies. How do Julia Roberts and Richard Gere's characters meet in the movie Pretty Woman? Hmm, I have seen that movie and I li like it a lot. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. Holds up fairly well for how old it is. Yeah, it does. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Michael. A steady like buys a date with her. And Sicario. She's on a street corner. Uh, what we're looking for is actually he asked her for directions. Oh. We cannot we cannot take any of those answers. <laughs> <laughs> Because he doesn't buy, you know? he doesn't buy a date with her. He starts asking for asking for the directions, and she but charges him need? for the directions. But okay. How how do they? She's on a street corner. She's right. on. She's on the corner, and he's on the car. So she's right in front of the Hollywood Bazaar. Yeah, yeah. you are correct. That is, well, you are correct. But how they met is he asked her for directions. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so your second question comes in the category of 2010s. Who plays Lois Lane in 2016's V Batman v Superman? I was going to say VVS, you know. <laughs> yeah, most people do. Yeah. Most people would know VVS too. Mark Holly always says it. I. In five. Four, Didn't love it. Three, two, one. Nobody did. Pens down. All right. So, Sean? Amy Adams. That is correct. Michael? 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 Michael. Your answer? Michael? Can you not hear us? No. Okay. Can't hear us. He does have the correct ad answer yeah. on his board. <laughs> All right, a little audio difficulties there, but both had the correct answer, so it's one to one. Amy Adams was the correct answer. So absolutely. All right. Next category, gentlemen, comes from the category of horror thriller, things that Spaniard does not watch. Nope. Your question is, the 2007 movie I Am Legend is set in what United States city? Hmm. I, I have this on DVD. I don't. Do you know it's based off a comic book? Yeah, I did know it. Five, four, three, two, one. Depends on. And Michael. And Mike. New York City. And York City. Sean. Yep. Quite ironically, there's a Batman Superman poster. Where is New York City? <laughs> Absolutely. One point each there. Correct. And um, two to two. So both competitors are start, uh, starting a little slow there, but recovering fast. So fourth question in the category of comedies. Ahaha, ahaha, ha. Ahaha, ha. What comedy was Cameron Diaz's feature film, feature film debut? Yeah, easy for you to say. Yep. Feature film debut. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this movie. I. Five. Entertaining. Four, three, two, one. Concept. Oh, right. So, Sicario. The mask. Yes, Michael. Michael. The mouse. That's absolutely correct. 
the movie about a green guy who does stupid things. With his dog. And it's not the Hulk. And it's not the Mark Ellis story either. <laughs> oh, moving on. Your next question comes from the category of action adventure. Action adventure. Question is as follows. Axel Foley is the main character in which saga of movies? I have seen all of those. Me too. I have all of these on DVD. Uh, I don't I actually, really... I actually saw Beverly Hills Cop in the theater, as a matter of fact. I wasn't Five, born. Four, three, two, no you weren't. One, <laughs> and one. Michael. 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 <laughs> I saw that I uh, gave the answer, but it's Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> Sean. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. All uh, right, correct. <laughs> Started off rough with that first question and both dead on ever since. Four to four. Okay, guys. Sixth question in the category of animate. In the incredible film, in the incredible 2016 film Finding Dory, who voices Dory? Who? I would sing the song, but it would give it away. <laughs> so I will refrain from singing I, the song. I knew this. Dory? Dory, yeah. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Uh. Pens down. Pens down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's a massive lag. Okay, no problem. So, do we go to Shikario. Alan DeGeneres. That is correct. Uh, Michael. Yep. Looks good to me. Yep. Correct? Correct. We are having some issues with Michael there. Okay. At least he, at least he didn't say Tyrannosaurus toss pops. True. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Your next question comes from the category of famous actors and actresses. Who played the female leading role of Alice Hartford in Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut? Huh. I take it you haven't seen this movie? <laughs> it's weird. It's weird, but it's good. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Michael. Nicole Kidman. And Sean. Nicole Kidman. Wow, I mean, these guys are on fire. And it's six to six, if I am correct. I have the same score. Okay. And your final question, gentlemen. No perfect rounds today because of that. Julia Roberts, pretty woman. Oh, pretty, pretty woman. What is... In the cat, I'm sorry. In the category of 80s movies, what is Charlie Sheen's character name in Young, Gun Young Guns? Whoa! Minor technical difficulty there. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's a minor thing. It's a technical difficulty that your mobile phone fails off. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, one. Bends down. I will call it a gravitational difficulty. Okay, that works. Okay, so, Sean. Is that Billy the Kid? That's not the answer we're looking for. Michael. 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 <laughs> no. Joe is not correct either. Nope. And with that, we finish the first what, round what with that? six what, what to it? six. Oh, yeah. What? Dick you forgot to give the answer. Brewer. The answer was Dick Brewer. All right. So with that is six to six at the end of round one. Both competitors missing their first and the last question. What do you think about that? <laughs> I don't think we've ever had that happen before where they both missed the exact same two questions start and finish. But yeah. you know, that was a pretty solid round if you think about it. 
it was. You know, they missed that first question, but then they knocked the next six out of the park, and then the last one, they both kind of went, wait, what? <laughs> yes, this is, a, this is the match we all wanted. It's going to be close, we hope. But the wheel, uh, yeah. it can change everything. So, speaking of that, let's go to round number two. Wheel of Doom, here we come. All right, so in this round, each competitor is going to get a spin of the wheel, and they, if they don't like the category they land on, they will have the option to spin again, unless they have landed on opponent's choice, in which case they will have to take that one. Once they have selected the category, they will receive four questions, and if they get the answer correctly, they will receive two points for each question. If they are not so sure of the answer, they can ask us for multiple choice, and the value of the question will go down to one point and we will provide them with four options the I will also remind the competitors there is a stealing in this round so be careful if you miss because your opponent can get your points any of you have used a, re a JTE or a challenge so everything is intact in that regard do you guys understand the rules yep perfect so it's okay so here's the thing you both have the same score and you both also have a debut match so there is no favorite so i am going to use a conflict to select who goes first or second so sean heads or tails tails it's tails no it's heads it's heads <laughs> i'm sorry so michael do you want to spin first or defer to sean I didn't get that. Sean? I will go second. Okay, you will go, you will go second. So, Snacks, why don't I you... I will go second. Yeah, okay. So, Sean, why don't you... Snacks, why don't you list the categories and give it a spin for Sean? Alrighty, today's categories on the wheel are movie release dates, romance, James Cameron, directors, coming of age, action adventure, Tarantino, Scarlett Johansson, animated in 70s movies, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Let me know when you're ready to go, Sean. Let's go. And your spin. Looking like it's going to be James Cameron. James Cameron. I'll take it. He's Alrighty. taking James Cameron. Okay, so Snacks, I will ask those questions if, if you are okay with it, because I have the category right here. Certainly, sir. Help yourself. So, let's generate four random questions in the category of James Cameron. All right, Sean. Your first question. What kind of product does Arnie, as Harold Tusk Tusker, sell as his cover in True Lies? He's a computer salesman. Computers, that's absolutely correct. For two points. He goes up eight, eight to six. All right, second question. How many Oscars was 1999's The Abyss nominated for? Hoo -hoo. Oscar questions always get me. Yeah, the Academy Awards. Something people love. Multiple choice? Five. You asked for multiple choice? Yeah. He did. Okay. So your options are three, B, five, C, four, or D, two. I believe that it's four. And you believe correctly for one point for Oscars. Uh. It nice. won one, but I thought it was... Yeah. All right, so, huh, another Abyss question. This is the thing with randomizing. In the movie <laughs> The Abyss, who played Ed Harris's ex-wife? Uh, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonia. That's absolutely correct for another two points, and he goes up 11 to 6. Yeah, easy for him to say. Yeah. So... All right, your fourth and final question in the category of James Cameron. In the movie Aliens, 
What's the name of Vasquez's big gun companion? Vasquez. Vasquez. Oh. Her big gun companion? Yep. Yeah. Who's who's her partner? Oh, it's um I think this is the best of the Aliens movies, by the way. I oh, don't know. Five, four, multiple, multiple three. Choice. All right, your options are A, Hudson, B, Gorman, C, Drake, or D, Apone, Apon. Drake, I believe. And you believe, once again, correctly for one point. Yes. He nails the James Cameron category and he goes up 12 to 6, getting a 6 point out of there and no steals. Alright, so... 6 out of a possible 8, that's not bad for That's a not bad at all. Alright, so Michael, while Snacks brings up the wheel for your... Are you ready for your spin? Michael, you ready for your spin? Alright, the snacks, so give it a spin for the wheel for Michael. Alright, here we go. The Wheel of Doom. Yep. And he goes to... Looks like it's gonna be Romance. Romance. I think he's spinning again, but I am not sure because I cannot spin again. Spin again? Spin again, yeah. Spinning away from romance, spinning away. We have a little lag Number on this two. end. Uh, spin, spin again? Yeah. Can you we, hear me? We are spinning again. And it lands a on... Movie release dates. Movie release dates. All right. You did spin movie release dates. And your first question in that category is, in what year was Kill Bill Volume 2 released? 2004. No hesitation, that is good for two points, two yep. points. All right. all right, your next question from the category of movie release dates. Released in the year 1964, what movie was the first of the Spaghetti Westerns? Whoa, deep cut. Uh, a fistful of dollars. Absolutely correct for Ooh. another two points. 12-10, 12-10 after two questions in round two. Your next question. In what year was Tarantino's Jackie Brown released? 1997. Nailing these questions right off the bat. That is outstanding. All right, your final question. In what year was Alfred Hitchcock's Lifeboat released? Yeah, that's a much deeper cut there. <laughs> 1946. That is incorrect. Would you like to try to steal, Sean? I believe that it was 1944. 1944 is correct. Ooh. 42 points ah. steal. That is steal. I said, I, I said 54. Oh, I'm sorry. If 44 was the correct answer, then no steal. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm playing an honest game. Oh, no. I, I thought no, you yeah. I even saw. I read 44. Yeah. Hey, thank you for being honest. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate honesty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... So that's a 12... I have a 12-12 tie after that round. I, is that what you have there? That's what I have, yeah. 12 to 12. The third round is going to be a very interesting one. Okay, so it's let's... Be a farm burner. Okay, so we apologize if this match looks a little cranky, but we have been experimenting at some technical difficulties, but we expect it to go all in for now so let's move to round number three all right so in round number three each competitor is going to give us three numbers that corresponds to three ca different categories in the movie trivia galaxy we are going to ask them three questions the first one is going to have a point value of two points the second one three points and the third one five points there is no penalty for missing or stealing in this round and if i am correct neither competitor have used either a jte or a challenge so you are correct sir once again you are tied there is no favorite so I am going to use a coin flip once again 
with a Star Wars coin I have here. So, Sean, call it heads or tails? Tails. It's tails. So, why don't you give us your numbers first? From um, 1 to 19. Yeah. 1 to 19. 1 to 19. I'm sorry. 3, 7, Three. Three, seven, and twelve. Twelve. Yeah. All right. And Michael, your three numbers, please, sir. Uh, two, five, six. Two, five, and six. And we are going we to go to Michael. Go ahead. All right. You picked number two. That corresponds to the category of coming of age movies. <laughs> Coming of age movies. Uh, and your question is, in the movie, Dead Poets Society, what Latin phrase did John Keating teach his students? Uh, carpe diem. That is correct for two points. Right. He goes up 14 to 12, and I Sic am going to ask... Sicario, Sicario, Sicario literally up in arms about that question. <laughs> No, I was just literally like, of course he got not only coming of age, but Dead Poets Society. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course he did. Okay, so you chose, Sicario, you chose number three for your two-pointer, and that corresponds here to the category of animated movies. These are movies that are drawn by hand or on, on a computer. Okay. And your question is, what is the base color of the character Anger in the movie Inside Out. Red. That is correct for two points. And we are tied. 14 Still to 14. 14 each. That's right. All right. Swings back over to Michael for your three point question. You pick number five. That corresponds to the category of family films. Family films. Your question is Johnny Depp plays a famous Scottish playwright in the movie Finding Neverland. Name the playwright. I'm not sure is how to watch this movie. J. M. Barry? That is correct for three <laughs> points. Moving you up to 17, 17 to 14. All right, Sean. So you selected number seven, and this corresponds for your three-pointer to movie release dates. Yeah. And your question is, in which year was the movie The, the Life of Brian released? 1979. That's absolutely correct for three points, and this match is outstanding. <laughs> But Call is. back, Michael. Yeah. Call That's back hilarious. on that one. <laughs> Sounds like this guy might have gotten that question before. <laughs> what are the odds of that one, buddy? That's hilarious. <laughs> so we are going Maybe to we'll need... get the inside story. Yeah, please. Maybe we'll get the inside story of that during the post-match interview. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it is 17 Ooh. to 17. 17 to 17 in round three. Bounces back over to Michael again for your five-point question. You picked number six, and that is the category of 2000s movies. 2000s movies. In 300, who plays Dilios, the Spartan who loses an eye in the battle and is sent back to Sparta? Oh, I know the one. The actor's name. Michael Fassbender. That is incorrect. We're looking for David Wenheim. Uh, yeah. Faramir himself. He's an Aussie, Aussie boy too. Okay. He's also in Van Helsing, but we don't talk about that movie. Yeah, we don't talk about that movie. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. You cho Okay, so this is an interesting position. Sean can either hit his five pointer and win the match. Or if he misses the five pointer, we can get to sudden death. So let's go. You selected number 12, and that here corresponds to horror slash thriller. 
for five points and the win in which one of the underworld series do we see Selene's and Michael's hybrid daughter Hoo -hoo. not a fan of this movie that one. So that would be Underworld 4. Five, four. We need the subtitle. subtitle. Underworld 4 Awakening. That is correct. And your word! If you have By a, a final score of... <laughs> 22 to 17 on that last five point question in round three. Took it to the limit. He is Sean, the Sicario, Sandberg. Wow. <laughs> this I had a feeling this was going to be a barn burner of a match, and I was not disappointed. This was everything we hoped it was going to be. Both competitors came in saying the other one was incredible. Both competitors came in saying they were excited to play each other. And both competitors delivered. I mean, this score, I think this one makes Michael the highest scoring not winner of the league. Um, second highest right now. Second, okay. So... I, that does put them uh, the Sicario as I believe the top scoring yep, the top player after all the so qualifying far, matches he is the top scoring winner going into the tournament so congratulations there Sicario yep will be the number one C going into the tournament on the strength of that five point question and then win outstanding all right I got my text from the from the elk looks like he's standing by in the elks lodge and ready to do the post-match interviews let's send it up north What's up, face-off fans? Welcome back to the Elks Lodge. That's right, the most exciting man in YouTube, movie trivia entertainment, coming your way, Kel the Elk. And I'm pleased to be joined today by my fellow countrymen. What a match, what an amazing performance. Sean Sicario Sandberg. Brother, that was a hell of a match, toe-to-toe -to -toe all the way. And at the end of round one, you're both coming out of it. You got six points. We're going to round two. We're looking at exactly the same thing. Tied it up all the way and fought to the bitter. And what do you have to say about this match today? Michael, you're the fucking. That's, that's what I have to say about this. Michael Campbell, as I said before, is one of the Mount Rushmore of the fan. The guy is on. And much like Dan Merle talked about uh, Ethan Irwin saying I couldn't have had this match without him I could not have had this match without Mike dude I so hope that you and I get to play one another again like basically now the two times we played were one and man we, we gotta run it back for a third time come on that's got to fucking happen <laughs> but otherwise I'm absolutely elated to get my first one in this league the set the points record is something that makes me extremely happy as well. But man, this is uh, this is something else. I thank you guys so much for having me. And um, yeah. Oh, and one last thing, Grant Gregory. I heard what you said, and yes, SOA rides again. All right, we've got some confirmation. That's right, a team up may be happening here in the face-off league. We've got a man setting a brand new points record. And I am proud to say, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome. He is Canadian, just like all the best players are. That's right. And you did set that point record. You touched on that moving forward, number one, going into the tournament. Sean, are you gonna say it now? Are you gonna give them that confirmation? Are you the man to beat? Are you the man who's going to take down that inaugural movie trivia face-off title? Um, the guy to beat right now, in my opinion, is Grant Gregory. Um, I've played him three times. He's gotten the best of me twice, beaten him once. I think he's the guy that you really have to look at in terms of who's number one. I think I can pull it off, but I also don't want to be boisterous. I, I think that damn near anybody can wind up pulling this off league it depends on the day it depends on the question and movie trivia has shown that over and over you know it, it basically 
the best players, it, it's just an ever receding pocket of ignorance of the film, and it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller every day. So, yeah, I think that's Grant, and I think that's basically it. So, I don't want to overlook it. All right, you heard it from the man himself. New points record set. He says the knowledge is getting tighter. The cream rises to the top. You proved it today, Sean Sandberg. You are one of the best, one to be feared, and you are going to have a hell of a run going forward. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sean Sandberg, your winner. We're going to be right back with the Golden God. All right, we are back. Face off fanatics, face off freaks with an amazing competitor. Couldn't quite get the job done today, but that does not mean he did not put on a hell of a show for us. Michael, the Golden God Campbell. Michael, they said before this match started that you might have to renounce that title. Might be the Golden Fraud if you couldn't take down the win. But I got to say, after a performance like you gave up, I don't think anybody's going to be underestimating you. You're not going to be making it into that tournament, but you had a great match today. What do you think about your competition against Sean Sicario Sandberg today? Uh, Sean deserved to win. I would have felt pretty bad if I, after all the, the bullshit that I put everyone through, that uh, if I won, like Sean would have walked away from the loss. So I'm glad he won. And I'm glad he's number one seed. Uh, he deserves it. He's like a, an absolute beast of a player. Uh, and I mean, his performance here basically told everyone to watch out because you know he's not the most like like you said boisterous guy but he, he's quite competitive and he wants to win he doesn't like to lose so i would be if i was in the tournament i would uh i'd watch out for him because uh yeah, once he once he wants to win something he puts his mind to it and he does it but uh yeah i'm happy with my performance i lost i had no shame in losing to sean well you know I've been watching the movie trivia for a while now, and it's a lot like a lady named Jessica says, you got nothing to hang your head about, brother. Amazing performance today. Frankly, what I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to seeing you come back. I'm looking forward to seeing maybe some other competitor out there calling you out. And hey, man, I got to give you a lot of props. I got to give you a lot of credit and let you know not to feel bad about this. A lot of great talent not making into that tournament. You know how I feel about that one. What are we going to see from you next? Are you coming back in any other divisions? Are you ready to compete again if they need you? Because I know if it's up to me, you're getting booked in a match tomorrow. I'd, I'd love to play his dude named Henry. He's, a, he's an absolute twat, uh, so that'd be fun. Uh, so if they can set that up in the future, that'd be, I love that. <laughs> All right, we've got quite the call out. Names being tossed around. I mean, snacks, I'm trying to keep it family friendly over here, but you can't control a man with passion like this for movie trivia, entertaining you, the fans of Face Off. You are the best there is, except of course, for this guy right here, Andrew, the Elk Kelk in the Elks Lodge with both of our wonderful competitors today. As always, I'm not sorry. You are welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Back to you at the desk, Snacks and Garcia. All right, so, I mean, after this match, you have to give respect to your opponent, win or lose. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> highest highest score is points. Saying, man. <laughs> you, got, you, got the, you got the winner going in as the number one seed in the tournament. You got the guy that didn't win today. He's tied for the number one seed out of those people who didn't win their first round matches. So they're definitely going to get another match here shortly. I'm looking forward to this tournament. I've got all 16 winners now. I'm going to be putting that bracket together. We'll get it over to the graphics team and have them spiffy it up and make it look professional because, you know, Excel Word sheets just don't quite do it anymore. Yeah, nah. That doesn't look snobby enough, if you get me. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite professional, which we'll let the graphics team worry about that. But we've got our 16 players in the first tournament for the Movie Trivia Face-Off Singles Crown. What do you think about that? I mean, when we started this, I didn't think we will get an in this incredible talent in and out of the tournament, because we have players that haven't made it to, the, to it that could easily beat anyone on any given day. But that's oh, yeah. the lack of the draw, if you say it. So 
I am so excited. You know, everybody, some, some people came in at the beginning, some people came in late, and unfortunately, the luck of the draw means some people who may have had a good tournament just aren't in there because they didn't get the chance to make it in. Yeah. But that's okay because they're still going to be playing matches, they're still going to be setting up their rank, and as the tournament progresses on, we'll have more matches for those who are not in the tournament. So we'll have plenty of uh, plenty of stuff coming down the pipe for you. Yeah, exactly. So this was all of the qualifying matches for you guys. Next singles match is going to be either a not winners because Snacks doesn't like to use the L word, but it's going to be no. either a not winner bracket or the first match of the first round of the movie trivia face off singles championship tournament easy for me to say that so easy for you to say <laughs> this is going to be all for today thank you all you, all of you for tuning in the fans the question writing team my partner on the desk and every everything and everyone who makes the movie trivia face off possible also thank you for to the competitors for giving us an incredible match and dj it's been a pleasure as always yeah, all of that. All of that, man. Our competitors today were outstanding. Sean Sicario Sandberg, Michael the Golden God Campbell, as always, like you said, everybody behind the scenes that you don't see, the writers, the editors, the recorders, the graphics team, the social team, everybody that makes this league happen. We just sit here and look on the screen and look pretty. And I, again, thank you out there to everybody who is a face-off fanatic. We appreciate you being out there. We appreciate you tuning in. That's right. Make sure you stay tuned. We got more matches coming your way, whether it be Geektacular, whether it be a possible exhibition match. Oh. Could be happening. We'll have to find out. But of course, myself and Spaniard as singles commissioners, we will be doing a pre-tournament special announcement to announce the bracket. Who's going to be playing who? Stay tuned for that as well. And you know what? I always have to say it. Be excellent to each other. <laughs>